What's going on guys? Concussion here. I'm over here on the Android server on Happy Slappy's account and today is Hero Collector and here you go. Look guys, Hero Collector and basically what we're going to be going for today is Dovekeeper and Anubis. Getting the 15 gelatinous champions would be nice too for the 10 slimes and the 10 rocks. But um, 41,000 gems, okay? We're not going to go past we're going to make sure we at least leave a thousand gems, maybe more. And if we can get both of them, that'd be nice. I'm not getting greedy and just... I'll do a quick altar review after we do this session, so... Just so you guys see what's going on in this account. But we're going to start it off with a 150. Pain death, no good. Okay, no more blues, no more blues. Okay, 450. A succubus. Ain't nobody need none of that trash. Blues. No. We don't want any blues. Skull Knight. Not bad. Not what we're looking for, though. There we go. Jelton is champion. Candy Cane. We do not want that. Stop giving me pandas, game. I don't want any more pandas. Serpent Queens, Pandas, and Crystal Oozes is all we're getting right now. And Trash Legends. Okay, we got a green. Thanks, IG. Oh, we got another green. Alright, there's a Death Knight. Okay, so we got both the Knights. There's a Siren. Okay, come on, for the goods. Greens. Okay, another Jeltonus. I've actually never rolled this many gems, guys, so this is one of my biggest sessions. Another Jeltonish Champion. Frost Witch. No. Paladin. No. Beast Tamer. No. There's an Executioner. We don't need none of that. There's gonna be a few 150s. Heartbreaker. Little Nick. A Spirita. Nice. You, do you have a Spirita? No, I don't. Nice. Oh, warehouse is full. Son of a biscuit. Well, we better clear some warehouse space and we're going to open up this Spirita. Okay, he's got a monster pass. First off, we'll use that. Okay, let's see. Okay, we used the monster pass. Let's go sell a few greens. Let's see. And then we're gonna open up this Aspirida. And what do you want on it? What do you want on Aspirida? He wants Borg, so if it comes with Borg, five of eight, that would be nice, IGG. So, okay, let's see. Is it, does he have altar space? Okay, he's got three slots. Alright, what's it gonna come with, boys? Or are you a Spirita? If we get a Sasquatch, that would be nice, too. Because he does not have Sasquatch. That's one of the ones he's actually looking for, so... <clears throat> Come on, 5A Bork, one time, Spirita. And what do we got? Scatter? 1 of 8 Scatter. We'll do two talent rolls. One of 8 Brute Force, one of 8 Life Drain. Trash. Okay, let's roll a few more heroes. Or a lot more heroes, I should say. We go. Okay, Cupid. Nobody needs Cupid. Unless you need Cupid. Which not very many people do, so. Okay, 150, 450, 450, 150 to Dread Drake. Stop it, Crystal Oozes. There's an Ares. Come on, give us the goods, IDG. Come on. Jelton is champion. 
So many blues. Another dread drake. Wow. Really? That was the first one? I remember that. I freaked out. Uh, Orc Spain. The first special legend that I rolled, guys. Yeah. Talk about a trash first le first special legend. <laughs> and we have an alchemist. Lady Leo. Nobody needs that. That's garbage. Vlad. Decent, but not needed. Come on, give us the goods. Okay, let's just do a few 450s. Come on. Revenant. Mectessa. Do you have a Mectessa? You do have a Mectessa? Warehouse? You can just go die in a hole, man. Stop getting full. Ain't nobody wants that. Okay, we're selling more greens. Alright. Selling greens. Selling some more greens. Everybody loves the warehouse. Like, the best thing in the game, isn't it, guys? Everybody loves the warehouse. Everybody does. Okay. 150 Shaman. Trash. 450 Martyr Cyclops Crystal Ooze. No. Not like this. Come on. No gelatinous. I'm gonna go back and forth on the 450s. Just get some momentum. And then we're gonna go big. Big. Walla Walla. That's a really rare legend, but not the one we're looking for, sadly. Let's sell a few more of these. We'll sell this paladin since he has one of them. And the succubus, too. Alright, so we got 1,500 more gems to do. Let's get the goods. Come on. Okay, guys, so we need to see an Anubis or a Dove Keeper or Sasquatch. Any of those three would make happy a happy man. Okay, let's see. And we're actually going to start for 150, 450, Orcs Bay. No! 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 And that is it for the session. 820 gems left. And we did get something he didn't have. Actually, I've thought about it quite a bit, and the Spirita could have actually very strong use in dungeons when we get another Insane Dungeon. If we get Insane Dungeon 8, is Insane Dungeon 8, is it out? I don't really keep track because I haven't even got up to 7. No, 8 is locked. Now, when 8 comes out, Anubis won't be able to handle things all by himself, probably. So having an extra 100 attack that a hero that attacks 100 targets, that could be very useful. So, that's a pretty good hero roll, if I do say so myself. Now, did we get all the gelatinous champions? Come on. Did we not even get them? 7 of 15? Wow. That is the worst gelatinous champion session I've ever seen. So there you go, folks. What? We got trashed on the Hero Collector Awards. At least we got them in a Spirit Out, which is actually coming out pretty good. With how many heroes Happy Slappy is missing? I mean, if we just look, guys, he is not missing that many. Are you missing Serena? Yes. Okay, he's, he's got all the important ones, okay? The really the only important ones that he's missing now is Storm Eater and Sasquatch, in my opinion. Besides the the two dragons he doesn't have. Honestly, I don't feel like Serena is one of the more useful new ones that's come out. She's decent. She revives. Tree revives though too. And she buffs. Honestly, I feel like reviving is more, should be more of a defensive sort of hero. And Serena is an offensive hero. Big time. She's a very offensive hero. So, I mean, she's different than Tree. It's expected. Anyway, so, if we look... Okay, we do not want to look at creation. 
Okay, if we look over here, we have 171 Demogorgon Soul Stones. Now, one of my next videos on this account is going to be when he collects Demogorgon. And we are going to roll talents for him. We're going to see if, like, we can get... What, what he wants is a 5 of 8 Faint or a 5 of 8 Borg. Maybe a War God. War God would be nice, too. But, um... Let's just do a quick hero altar review. <clears throat> 8 of 8 War God Minnow. 7 of 8 Stone Skin on the tree, which is pretty good. 6 of 8 Bork Joe Drake's great. 6 of 8 Stone Skin Grim Fiend's pretty good. 5 Revite Medusa. 8 of 8 Blade Shell Michael with 10 of 10 is insane deflect. That war that war on that. Heartbreaker does this Anubis. Is pretty much identical to mine. Let's see. Equipment. It has Pyramage. Mine has Energy Sap. Um, that's like identical to mine right there. And yeah, that's just, that's just like really powerful. 11 of 11 Gunslinger. 7 of 8 Scorch. The one he wants for this one is Faint as well. He really wants a Faint for his Gunslinger. He would choose Faint on Demogorgon before Gunslinger, though. And then, 7 of 8 Borg Rockno, which is, in my opinion, by far the best Rockno talent. Increasing his health makes him heal himself for more. Rockno is a very tanky hero. He depends on his heals. He doesn't depend on reduction. Rockno does not reduce damage, so. 7 of 8 Borg. Now we'll just scroll through a little bit. There's, a, there's just so many heroes I can go on for days about this account. This is one of the ones he wants to change. To like a war god. Very nice dove keeper. Ghulam is insane. Oh my gosh. 11 of 11 Ghulam. And then. Oh. We can unlock his Ares talent. 1 of 8 war god. Trash. We can unlock his PD talent. 5 of 8 revive. <laughs> well. I don't know if he'll be using that. But. I mean why not. It's there. If you ever want to do slowdown strategy, that revive is a good tactic. You know, like when you get hit, lose aggro, revive. That's one of the main... I don't know, Not he probably won't ever use it, but if he does, it's there. So, ah, 8 of 8, Deadly Strike, Skull Knight. There's the Pumpkin Duke from the big video that we made a while back. 8 of 8, Bork, Phantom King with a 5 of 8, Berserk backup. That's one of his insane additions. 5 of 8 scatter and slow down Multanica, like the best support Multanica you can get, pretty much. Then there's a Trixie Treat with Bulwark. What's, what's the backup talent? 3 of 8 Deadly Strike. What's the backup talent on this PD? 1 of 8. What's the backup? I'm just opening up all these backup talents. 8 of 8 War God Santa, so we got 5 Revite, 7 of 8 Berserk. Okay, let's get back to what we we're doing. 6 of 8 War God Vlad. Spirit Mage, Warlock, pretty good stuff. There's Ronin. Oh, Cupid's got a unlock. Nope, one of eight War God trash. Skull Knight, what's he got? One of eight Empower. Hmm. What if that was a five of five of eight Empower? That'd been like one of the best defense Skull Knights. That's his like his one of his only issues, you know, is Ares. So if he can proc right off the bat. Maintain it. That'd be really cool. What should, I'm just I'm just unlocking these talents, guys. Like, yeah. Let's see. Let's see. We can unlock that. Three of eight scorch. Trash. Up. Oh, got another Phantom King. One of eight sharpen. And. The final unlock is a 3 of 8 Flame Guard. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will see you guys in another video. Bye.